good morning my coolest of kids how's everybody doing on this extra fantastic absolutely no humidity but some pretty decent mild temperatures Monday morning I'm gonna go ahead and call today the beginning of everything being completely back to normal on track this past week as you guys know been very long last week I say week it's been literally closer to two weeks and I've been in and out of streams with you guys I've been gone uh, you know down to Florida so my videos have been a little different than normal and you know I haven't been able to do my daily doses of positives really and uh, real getting caught up in work ever since I got back and before so with the same, you know, along the same lines of trying to get things back in gear. I got a daily dose of positive that comes straight from here. Not a story, nothing else. Just something that I've recognized. I was going through emails, catching up with a lot of people that, you know, I had normally been talking to each day. And I still was, but I wasn't able to truly commit myself to. You know, I had a lot of other things going on with my life. Uh, to, you know, trying to, you know, make sure I could do everything, like, correctly for my sister's wedding. Because, you know... Her wedding was by the books, make sure everything's right for little Princess Livy, and as much as I love her, and as much as she means to the family, everyone else want to make sure everything was perfect. But, something that I have noticed with people, lots of peoples. Each morning when uh, one of us normally gets up, any, any of us get up with the alarm going off, you know, it is hard to step yourself out of that bed sometimes. You know, you're just sitting there, you're like, oh my... Dear God, and you're thinking about all those things you have going on today. And you're like, Jesus, do I really need this job? Do I really need to go to that appointment? Do I really have to run that errand? Do I really have to pay that bill? Do I really have to see that friend? Do I really need to go to that place? Is all of this really worth it? And for a large chunk of people, a big group of people... That hardest part of the day is getting that ball rolling. You know, getting that engine to turn over. Getting that snowball, you know, that snowball effect where it smarts and rolling small, gets bigger and bigger, and it just keeps going. And for each of us, you know, from the, no like, I'll call it quote unquote normal because none of us are necessarily normal. Oh, and that's a pile of decoy animals, by the way. That's not real animals. My dad and I shoot arrows, shoot bows, so we have big decoys that we put out. But yeah, anyways, I'll call it normal. It's hard to get up in the morning and start moving. But others, they might start their day, start doing what they normally will. You know, they start and they're doing things for their themselves. You know, they still get up and have a life. You know, they don't just lay in bed all day, but they never truly get that ball rolling. And there's this expression that I truly will live by. And, you know, of course it has exceptions, but you are your own worst enemy. Totally true. I try to help some people each day with the things that I put out there, things that I say, the techniques that I use, the, the you know, just the way I word things, the way I make things sound or look or, and, you know, make life feel. Is trying to help that one person a day. Make them realize that that job is worth it. You know? Make them realize that they do have friends and family that are, you know, are there for them and love them and really care for them. And they, you know, they really do mean a lot to them as well. Make sure these people, you know, they realize that the things that they do, the errands that they run, the, you know, those bills that they pay, that family that they're a part of, you know, they are a major key factor in this. They need to be a part of all of what we're doing. We're, you know, going to family events and barbecues and making those calls and shooting those texts and living that life. Being a part of everyone else's life, you know, being a part of that circle, your group, your friends, your everything, being a part of that and they're needed. A lot of these people can't get past themselves ever. Truly get past themselves each morning. They wake up and, you know, that job's not worth it. They don't need that job. I don't need to go do that or go do this or anything. It's not worth it. 
you know, I don't want to go to that family barbecue or go see my friends or go out to dinner, or, you know, go to a movie with my, you know, family or my parents or meet up with my sister, anything like that. They don't want to go do it because they don't think that, that anyone else cares, that they're not worth it, that they don't need to do it because they're not needed in general. And if you could somehow just budge them, push them, get them onto that first step, that first, you know, first couple things, get them into going to a certain event or get them to that job and getting that job or just keeping the job that they have and letting them know that that bills that they pay does keep your family rolling and keeps everything going and that they're really needed. And without them, everything could and would most likely fall apart. Feeling needed isn't just from an outside source from other people letting you know, but you can completely and utterly fall on your face from just what you're thinking in your mind, thinking that you're not needed, that you're not wired, you're not nothing like that. People, it doesn't take somebody else putting you down and making you feel bad, making you feel horrible in order for you to, uh, you know, feel that way. You can do that to yourself each and every morning when you open your eyes and you start realizing what you have in front of you each day. But that moment, those days where you are finally starting to realize what you are worth and how much you mean to other people and how much you are needed, that's when you know you finally got that ball rolling. That engine turned over and that life in line to a place on a path to where you should and deserve to be. This is why I like putting out these positive vibes. Because it really does create my self-positive life knowing that if even I help one person on that one day, that could get their ball rolling for an entire life. And I don't need the glory or anything like from people saying, oh, thank you, anything like that. That's awesome. I love hearing it, but I don't need it. Because I know that what I'm saying is true and can possibly help, or could possibly help, even if I never knew that I helped somebody else, if it did, I like to think that karma, that that spiritual, you know, wonderment, anything, like along those lines, will come back to me, make me feel more fulfilled, and it does, it really makes my life feel more fulfilled to know I help even a single person. But thank you all so very much for being there for me during uh, my hard time right now, going through all this stuff after just getting over a very sad time. This was a very happy time. And uh, thank you all for still being bricks, being behind me and my channel, and just being very patient. And please, 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 try to go out there and you help somebody yourself. Because putting out that positive vibe, it will create you a positive life as well. And make sure you always portray the best possible version of yourself, not only to everyone around you, but also by staying true to yourself. Have yourselves a wonderful Monday.